Hey guys, Michael from Car Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be covering some example problems relating to wavelength, frequency, and speed of light. So let's start with the equation. The equation is C equal to lambda times nu. C stands for speed of light, and it's a constant that equals 3 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Sometimes you might also learn as 2.99 times 10 to the eighth meter per second, but pretty much 3 times 10 to the eighth meter per second. Lambda on the other hand is wavelength, and wavelength has to be measured in meters. So if it's in nanometers or another unit, make sure you convert it to meters before you plug it into this equation. And then lastly, nu. Nu is the frequency of the of the light, and it's measured in either hertz or seconds to the negative one, and these are interchangeable. So let's jump into some example problems. The first one: What is the frequency of the electromagnetic uh, electromagnetic radiation? Pretty much just this just means light. So what's the frequency of light having a wavelength of 210 nanometers? So we're given the wavelength. Now let's actually rewrite the equation. C equals wavelength times frequency. So we're given the wavelength and then we have to calculate the frequency. So we can just uh, rearrange this, make it the frequency equals the speed of light divided by the wavelength. So pretty much just divide both sides by the wavelength. So we speed of light. Now let's plug in some numbers. Speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8 meter per second. Our wavelength currently is in nanometers, but it has to be in meters for the meters to cancel out. So we have to co convert uh, nanometers to meters. Let's multiply by the conversion factor. 210.0 nanometers times one in every one meter there's 10 to the ninth nanometers and then you can see that nanometers cancel out so then you'll be left with meters which is approximately 2.1 times 10 to the negative 7 meters so then we plug this in here 2.1 times 10 to the negative 7 meters and then plug that into the calculator so 3 to the power 8 divided by 2.1 to the power of negative 7 and that will give you 1.429 times 10 to the 15th, uh, and we could report this as either hertz or we could report this as seconds to the negative one. Both are okay. We have six, four sig figs here, so that's why we have to have four sig figs in our answer. All right, let's take a look at the next example. So in the next example, we're asked to solve for wavelength in both meters and nanometers of a light with a frequency of 6.75 times 10 to the 14th hertz. So this time we're, we need to solve for wavelength and we're given the frequency. We'll start with the regular equation. C equals wavelength times frequency. So to solve for wavelength, we just divide both sides by frequency. So s speed of light divided by, or the, the wavelength is gonna equal the speed of light divided by the frequency. Uh, our frequency is already in the correct unit, so we can just plug both numbers in. So 3 times 10 to the 8th meter per second, and then that would be divided by 6.75 times 10 to the 14th. And this is hertz, or we can just write this as per second as well. And by doing this, you can see that the per seconds will cancel out. So when we plug this into the calculator, we'll get 4.44 times 10 to the 7, to the, actually, negative 7 meters. So that'll be the answer in meters, then we have to convert this to nanometers. So we can take that number and multiply it by the conversion factor. There are 10 to the 9th nanometers in every one meter. Then meters cancel out, and you're left with 444 nanometers. So this is the answer in meters, and that is the answer in nanometers. And that's how you would solve problems involving wavelength, frequency, and speed of light. So just remember the equation, the units, and then just use simple algebra to manipulate the variables. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.